Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Facebook Pixel um, onto your Shopify website. Now, if you uh, have installed the Facebook, the Facebook Pixel before on Shopify, um, this is a lot different. In, in, in September 2020, Shopify just released a new update on how to connect the Facebook Pixel. So some of you may have logged into Shopify trying to connect your Pixel and notice that it's, it's a lot different. So if you're on YouTube looking at videos that are uh, posted before September 2020, chances are it's not, uh, not up to date anymore. So this video is gonna walk you through how to install the Facebook Pixel after September 2020 when Shopify made this update. The reason why they made this update is because of privacy policies and different things um, related to the browsers and stuff like that. So um, it was a necessary change um, and it's a good change. It's something that uh, it, it, it'll work out really well. So I'm gonna show you how exactly to connect your Shopify in 2021 and on. This will probably be the standard for a long time. So um, let's jump right in. So I did create just a brand new Shopify store and I'm gonna create a brand new pixel for you so we can do this together. Um, so this is just a demo uh, Shopify store that I've created. The first thing you're want, gonna wanna do is go over to your business manager. Um, and if you don't have a Facebook Pixel yet, you can go and do business settings. And we are going to go down here to data sources and pixels. And I'm going, so I already have my, my Facebook Pixel, but I'm going to add another one just for the demonstration of this um, so that we can all learn together. So I'm going to call this um, Zoko, I'm going to call this Demo Pixel. I typically name this the website though. If um, it's up to you, that's optional. We're gonna hit continue. Okay, and we are going to hit set up pixel now. And we are going to use one of the partner integrations, which is Shopify. And this gets kind of interesting. So we hit in here to uh, partner integration. We go down to Shopify and uh, leave this turned on, the automatic advanced matching, and we hit continue. And as we scroll here, let's hide this. Um, we hit continue. So this is still walking you through the old way to add your pixel. This hasn't been updated yet. So as you see right here, it's saying, this is where you copy your Facebook pixel ID and place it right there. Before September 2020, that was how you did it, but now they've changed it. I'm gonna show you exactly what they've done and how we can connect our own Facebook pixel. So as you see here, this is what it was asking for before. Now, when we go over to Shopify, and we go to online store and go to preferences and scroll down to the Facebook pixel. Now, instead of just copying your pixel ID, it says set up Facebook. So we're gonna click on this button and it's actually gonna have you connect straight to your Facebook account. You're gonna have to log into Facebook and things like that. So we're gonna go, go through all that. Okay. This is just saying what it's gonna be able to do. So then add sales channel. You can go through all the details of this if you wanted to know those. It's gonna add this little Facebook sales channel on there for you. If you don't already have that, if you've already added that, then you don't have to worry about it. And now it's going to ask to connect the account. So I'm gonna hit connect. I need to put in my Facebook password if I can remember it. <laughs> Boom. Okay, and then we're gonna hit okay. All right, now it is connecting to our Facebook account and then it's gonna pop down all of these different um, stores that you can connect to. You wanna go to the one that uh, applies to you. So for here, we're gonna go to Zoco Marketing. We're gonna hit connect. And then select the page, same thing, Zoco Marketing. Okay, next it's gonna ask for the ad account. So get the ad account that is connected with your business. Um, if you haven't accepted these terms and conditions, you'll have to go through and accept those. So I'm just going to view and accept on these real quick. So accept that. It's going to take a second. Now I've accepted those terms and conditions. Go back to Shopify, do the same thing here. And accept. Chances are if you've been running ads in your ad account, then this has already been accepted. But this, like I said, this is just brand new for like a demo purpose. So I have to go through accept those. We're gonna hit done. Um, I don't have an ad, uh, it's gonna have me put a uh, payment info in there real quick. 
All right, let me pause and do that real quick. All right, we're back. Put the payment info in so we can continue now. Um, next thing is this data sharing. So I know this is bringing up a lot of questions for people. Um, this standard uh, data sharing you can have on the, the the default is this enhanced. This is what Shopify has been doing before. Um, and as you can guess, it's more data tracking than the standard. And then now they have this maximum uh, data tracking, which you can go through and, and do. Um, I'm going to show you what that looks like on the side of Facebook once we get through here. Um, for this situation, I'm going to keep it in max. And you're going to want to make sure that your privacy policy reflects this. So you can go through and click and go through the details on that. Um, if you're not sure, then maybe go with the enhanced um, on the privacy policy. But for more data and more tracking and um, using the conversion API, you're going to want to go with this maximized uh, the maximized tracking, whatever they call it. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to show you what that looks like on the back end of Facebook once we're done uh, with this part. And then we're going to hit um, confirm. Let this load for a second. You need to um, select your target country. I'm in the United States, so that's where I'm going to go. And then finally, accept the terms and conditions and finish setup. So uh, a lot more setup on the Shopify side of things, but we are done with that now before when you just had to basically copy and paste your pixel in there. Um, but now the pixel is now on our Facebook, uh, on our website. And now we're going to finish up this setup inside of Facebook. So we're going to go back over here to our, oh, I have so many tabs open for this. Okay, here we are. So as you remember, it's going through these um, steps and as we recall, they were wrong. Oh, this is like hiding it. There we go. Um, so we're going to skip through this, continue. Um, and now we are going to verify that uh, the pixels on our site. So we're going to go ahead. Okay, so sometimes this takes a minute to fire, but if we actually go, it's saying that it's not active right now, but if we go over to our website and look at the Pixel Helper, we can see here is our ads pixel for uh, Shopify Facebook ad. Um, so that is currently firing with the page view. And if we go back over to Facebook um, and look inside here, we are getting page views currently. So we have four just in the last seven minutes. I was trying to test that out. So that will um, eventually go over and start reading. Um, that must be some sort of thing on Facebook's end while they're trying to figure out this new pixel setup. But we are getting those events set sent into um, Facebook. Now, I did want to go through and cover um, the advanced matching. Um, that, If you recall, that was this setting right here where we did enhanced standard maximum. If you are doing the maximum in order to uh, collect that data, or to utilize that setting, you're going to want to come over here to your Facebook uh, ad pixel. You're going to come to settings. You're going to scroll down here to, uh, you want to make sure advanced matching is on. You want to show more options. And then um, you can go through and check all of these that you want to. So um, you want to make sure your privacy policy reflects these, but you can uh, track all of this data inside here. So you can go through and check all of these um, if you'd like. And that's how you kind of utilize the maximum uh, conversion tracking API inside of Facebook. Um, and that is how to set up the Shopify. And one last thing that I forgot to mention while I'm in here inside of uh, Shopify, if you did want to come to see which pixel is um, tracking the behavior right here, as you can see, this shows the pixel that it's showing, uh, going to. You're going to come here to Facebook and you can look at all the settings. You can look at the ad account, the, the page, um, that's every, everything that's connected. And we're going to scroll to settings right here. Up in the top, it's kind of hidden, so I wanted to make sure I showed people that. So settings, and then th here you can look at what accounts are set up where, your business manager, Facebook page, and then your data sharing settings, um, and you can change those, uh, and you can even disconnect your, if you wanted to put another pixel inside of there. So um, that is how you go through and check that or change those settings later on down the road. Um, and that is how to set up the Shopify pixel inside of or the fixed Facebook pixel inside of Shopify in late 2020 and 2021 and probably for the very foreseeable future. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you made it this far. The video was probably helpful for you. I really appreciate it and we'll see you guys next time.